Hello everyone, this is Sri from Techie Talks A. Welcome back to our channel. This is the fourth video in our Lay Robot SO101 Robotic Arm series. And if you have been following along, you already know that this series is not like most robotic arm videos on YouTube. Most videos jump straight into assembly, tighten this screw, connect that motor without really explaining why things are done the way they are. But we are doing it differently in the series. We are going step by step, understanding every bit of the entire process mechanically electrically and logically and how to number and configure the servo motors from 1 to 6. In this video we will focus on the anatomy of the SO101 arm, understanding the 6 degrees of freedom and most importantly the types of servos used in the leader arm and the follower arm and why they are slightly different. This understanding is critical before we start assembly and as always if you are serious about learning we offer one-on-one -on -one mentorship and the Structured AI and Robotics Internship. Visit shogini.com for details. All right, let's dive in. Everything we do, motor mapping, gear limits, must align with this. Treat this not as a brochure, but as a reference manual. Understanding this now will prevent mechanical mistakes later. The SO101 is a 6DOF robotic arm. Six joints, six independent axis of motion. Each joint powered by an intelligent serial bus servo. These servos communicate over a shared bus, reducing wiring complexity. We saw that in our last video. Every servo has absolute magnetic encoder, meaning it always knows its position. No homing sequence is required after power up. And also an important thing is the, the encoder is connected to the output shaft. So irrespective of the gear ratio or the internal gear ratio or the speed at which the motor is actually moving, the encoder tells us exactly how the output shaft moves. Remember, we set one to six motor IDs. These motor IDs are not arbitrary numbers. Each ID is mapped to a specific join function. Last video, we saw the names of these joints. So here are the 3D printed parts. Here is the base and the motor that comes here is numbered one and that is J1 joint. In the next video, we'll finally begin the actual assembly and because you now understand the why, the how will make perfect sense. And if this video helped you, like, share and subscribe to Techie Talks AI. And once again, if you want deeper guidance, we offer one-on-one -on -one mentorship and a structured AI and robotic internship. Visit shogini.com for more details. This is Sri from Techie Talks AI. See you in the next video where we start building. Bye-bye.